All right, tonight we got a beautiful, beautiful night for flying. I've had a few videos lately where I've been just yapping a little bit, so tonight's going to be all about flying. It's 40 degrees out, Packers game, Monday night football tonight, and uh, we still got some fall colors left here in Wisconsin, so this should be a pretty awesome flight. Looks like winds uh, get up to about 10 miles an hour at 1,000 feet, so I'll probably keep her below 1,000 feet. All right, let's get this thing in the air. Woo! -hoo! Flying the 22 Nitro tonight. Sweet. The key to a successful takeoff is get that glider, first check out all the lines, and then lay it down just like that. Nice horseshoe. Give yourself a little slack in the lines. Let's go get the motor fired up here. I like to take the stuff sack and put it underneath the seat. Now, always remember when you're running this operation to zip up underneath your seat once you put it in there. So this goes in here. Now why would you do that? I think it's two reasons. One, it's a tiny bit more softer bit of padding once you get it all stuffed in there. It's like a nice pillow underneath. So here it is, zipped up, totally safe. Good to go. And secondly, if I have to stop or land somewhere for some reason, I don't have to carry my glider all bunched up. I put it right in the sack. Okay, let's see. I haven't started the Blackhawk and quite a while now so let's check make sure it's got some gas and prime prime this here good clear prop wow first pull I don't know when the last time I flew this unit was I'd have to look back at my videos it's got to be near a month I'd say okay let's keep an eye on the temperature here we're at 85. I like to run it up to about 121 degrees for the first 107. 113. 121. That's the number I like to see. All right, final pre-flight before I put the gloves on. It is a little bit cold out. 40 degrees is not too bad, but all right, tight. That looks good. Exhaust looks good. Solid under there. All right, that's good for me. Let's get those gloves. Just charged up the GoPro, that should be good. Got the yellow gloves on tonight. I like to clip my throttle onto my pull starter to make it easy to grab. Tonight, as I said, the, the Green Bay Packers are playing the Detroit Lions. We do have a pretty strong breeze up high so if I wanted to I could probably make it to Detroit in about 10 hours maybe less but I realized the other day I have the Bay of Green Bay right next to me and I I rarely go fly that thing so one of these days I might have to cruise over there and check out some bay flying all right you up north Nope, just about ready to fly. I get a picture for Instagram. And starting. Good. Next stop, the sky. No, good. Let's get this baby fired up and get up in the sky. Clear prop. Let's see if I can nail this one. First attempt. Feeling good. Lined up. Move it forward. Easy does it. Check the glider. to be expected. Not too bad. Well, that takeoff went pretty easy. So this is northern Wisconsin here. We're into mid-November. So the leaves are coming off the trees. I probably 
probably should be out bow hunting tonight, but there's my house right down there. Temperatures are looking good. My neighbor's down there hunting in these woods right now. Oh, that sure is a nice woods. I love being able to fly, check everything out. Guess my overall speed right now. It's got to be somewhere around 50 to 50 miles per hour. We'll be able to see when we get back on the ground. I got the Fly Sky High app running. Green Bay is right over there, only about six, seven miles away. Temperature is still holding at 340 right now. Yeah, as it gets a little bit colder out, I think one of the essentials is getting uh, heated gloves. All right, so I'm gonna come back in for my landing here. Check out the windsock. Looks like we're gonna have a little bit of rotor. I'm gonna bring her back around this way. Yeah, the wind's coming over the top of those trees, so I'm gonna try to get over, bring this. I'll have to walk a little further back to the car, but the wind has definitely shifted to be more out of the south than uh, out of the east. Got to clear over the top of these trees here. Looks like we got that. And I'm going to bring her back into the wind. Up. Oh, she's blowing me that way. So back into the wind. Flare, flare, flare. Kill the motor. Oh, there we go. Nice. Stay under it. Stay under it. Stay under it. Keep her moving. And let's drop this thing around. Awesome. Good flight. Nice flight. Overall flight impressions on this one, everything with the motor ran great. Main high temperature, we're dropping out 347 degrees for a maximum temperature, so that's good. Got to see a little bit of the area from here. Nice, very clear day, but you could tell as soon as we got up high, it was a little bit breezy. Probably wouldn't be bad if I stayed out for another, another 45 minutes. The winds are tapering off, but I have to get going up north. As I pointed out, it's a 65 mile drive. So, just another nice paramotor flight in the books. Hopefully we can get the Packers on track tonight. We got Aaron Rodgers is still, still benched, still injured with his collarbone injury. So, well, it's kind of do or die time for both the Packers and our opponent, the Lions, tonight. Packers are four and three. The Lions are three and four. You know, sometimes it's fun still just to get out, just go do some kiting. Always inspecting the wing, put the kiting harness on, especially on days like today when you have nice, smooth and steady wind, real light glider like this. This thing just parks, man. This thing is nice. Oh, yes. That's how we do it. Little A's and D's kiting. We'll bring this thing over. Looks Let's like check out what we had for Fly Sky High. Fly Sky High is the app that I use. And that's all you have to do is hit start in the beginning. And when you're all finished up, take a look at it. Uh, and good, let's check out the flight. So height above takeoff, my height that I got up to is 354 feet. 
All right, so another good flight in the books. Thanks for flying along with me today on Air Amundsen. Definitely was a fun one. Short flight, but just gets the heart going. That's what paramotoring is all about. You know, who really gets to go fly? And people uh, say they're afraid of heights and they don't like to go up too high. That was only 354 feet, but 354 feet after a hundred and so many flights, it's starting to feel natural and normal to be up there. All right, time to pack this unit up and get up north, watch some Packers. See you later, guys.